Okay, Dead Space 2. I like the Zilla difficulty, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you can do Borat one more time and get away with it, because that was That was poor. bad. That was a poor. I wasn't ready. I'm not, I got it. You were ready. My you wife. Hit, you hit re- Zealot, yes. <laughs> My wife. My wife is somewhat of a Zealot. The Overlord. Oh, Kathy so this Griffin. is that hard part you were talking yeah. about. The, the Overlord Kathy Griffin, Griffin requires us to say it. My wife. <laughs> I don't know what that quote's from. Oh, really? Yeah. Call me different. Oh. Haven't seen that episode. Listen to that episode. Oh. Dude. So this part is basically you're waiting for Ellie's dumb ass to open the door. And I find waiting by the door is harder than waiting in this corner. I don't know why. I feel like you have more time to shoot the enemies before they get to you mm-hmm. in the corner. Isaac, um, open the CC door on your level. And they, most of them spawn over in that area, but they do spawn like behind you at some points too. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. So... Uh, yeah, this is going to be one of the harder parts in hardcore, I imagine. Um, and you can use those puker things against... Working. You can grab those and throw them back. Yeah, they're, they're basically like stasis, right? Like stasis? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, like, they don't damage them, they just slow them down. Because they don't damage you, right? I've never done it. Yeah, I've never actually done it either. I think it must damage them. Personally, that's my guess. I haven't yeah. done it, but I've read that you can, yeah. and that I should. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'll try. I will try. Do or do not. There is no try, Dan. Oh, good point. Come on. Okay. She's about to open the door. Hurry, 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 hurry. So yeah, she says... You and then once you cross the line, they run away. They won't follow you through that door. So she says you can't hold them off forever. I really want to like, get some awesome upgraded guns on my new game plus and like, just see how long I can hold them off and maybe you get like a bonus oh, thing. That would be awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't have a lot of upgraded guns and I was actually like struggling just to make it to the end of that part. Yeah. So let alone... like. And stay there for a long time. Yeah. Uh, you probably have to do a new game plus plus to be like super badass for that part. Yeah. Um, so the contact beam. Char- you have to charge the first shot and then it kills most everything. And the alternate fire you can upgrade a lot. And the final upgrade is adding stasis to it. And basically you shoot the ground and it sends out a wave of damage plus stasis. Mm-hmm. Can you charge that? I've just uh, the secondary? No. Okay. You just kind of... I mean, it takes a second. Like, if a guy's right next to you, he'll hurt you before you can shoot the ground. So you have to be like, okay, he's 10 feet away. Do it. You have to, it's a little bit of time. Like, both the primary and alternate involve timing. Mm. So, that's the biggest downside of that gun. But it's fun to use. And pretty powerful. This is why I picked it. Mainly because it's fun. And, uh... Yeah. Like, it'll, uh... I don't think I've come across an enemy it won't kill in one shot. Like, it kills those really fast guys in one shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, it doesn't... Scorpions? It do, yeah. It does not kill the tall guys who are made up of a bunch of little guys. Oh. It doesn't kill those in one shot. But if you kill the tall guy, and then you can probably kill all the little guys with in one the, shot. You, you shoot the tall guy with the primary, mm-hmm. and when it turns into little guys, you shoot the ground. And it kills all of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's really a good combo. Fortunately, there's not a lot of those. Yeah. So, all right, that's it for Chapter 7.